welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be training like Fabiano Caruana for an entire day. I'm going to try and replicate his diet, the amount of time he works on chess, his physical activities and more in this video. So it's almost half past seven, so I'm going for a run, just like Fabiano would. So I found out that when Fabiano goes for these morning runs, he talks about chess in the in the water breaks with his training partner. Now the problem is that I don't have a training partner, which is why I'll use this time to solve some chess tactics. So finally done with three rounds. Yeah, so that's the run done. So I'm back home and uh, well, I'm gonna have Fabiano Caruana's breakfast now. While I was making this video, I realized that I did not mention exactly what Fabiano has for breakfast, which is why I've edited this in. He has two boiled eggs, cured fish, oatmeal with milk, I presume, because nobody has oatmeal without milk and a serving of fruit. Fabiano spends the next half of his day playing tennis and swimming. However, I do not have a partner to play tennis with and neither can I swim because the pool next to my house is actually closed, which is why I decided to play football instead. However, the footage I took of me playing football got corrupted, which is why you'll sadly have to do with this. Yeah, <laughs> let's just move on. Now it's time for the actual chess training. Fabiano spent six hours training his chess. What did I do in these six hours? I started by using Edward Romain's book on calculation to warm up. Once I was done with that, I checked some opening lines which were significant to my repertoire. And once I was satisfied with that, I moved on to the end game. I used the book 100 End Games You Must Know by Jesus de la Via, which is one of my favorite end game books. And I find that even though I've finished it once already, continuously revising it, at least revising certain points, certain aspects such as rook endings is always instructive. Then I used the book Seven Deadly Chess Sins by Jonathan Rosen. Again, one of my favorite books. He describes seven of the most common chess errors that players make and how you can avoid making these errors. Another book I recommend that everybody should take a look at. After that, I read Alexander Koto's book, Think Like a Grandmaster. It's a very debated book, it's very instructive, and it's also very debated. Some people believe that the method of calculation suggested by Koto is rather inhumane and impractical. I tend to agree with them, but I also believe that in training, it's a good thing to use such a method as it can really tire yourself out. Probably not suited for a game of chess where you should rely more on your instincts. After that, I checked out End Games with Dvoretsky, a Chess24 video series which I find rather instructive. I checked out a few more opening lines and after that, I was so exhausted, 6 hours completed and I was done. I've run my hands through my head so many times that my hair has gotten all messed up. I'm exhausted but I have to go down again for a run. So it's half past, uh, sorry it's 9 o'clock and uh, I believe after chess, Fabiano comes down for tennis but well it's too late for tennis so that's pretty much why i am here and i will be going on a half an hour run as a compromise for the fact that i cannot play tennis so see you after the run okay i'm uh, finally done with the run and since i am through with the run might as well go and take a look at what fabi has for dinner So that was training like Fabiano Caruana for 24 hours. It was quite fun in general, very tiring, but I enjoyed myself. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon for more chess.